And we expect mostly clear skies this evening. A few more clouds returning late evening as temperatures slip off through the 30s down to about uh, 31 degrees at 11 o'clock. Overnight lows hit the upper 20s, but then we'll see some thicker clouds arrive past midnight and into tomorrow morning. 30 degrees at 8 o'clock with upper 30s at noon and 42 at 5 p.m. Maybe a little more sunshine there in the middle part of the day. Uh, clouds return tonight in our weather headlines and staying a bit on the breezy side, so that won't allow temperatures to drop off as much as the last couple of nights. And then we'll see that slight warm up today. We were in the 40s and should stay in the 40s rest of the week with eventually some rain as we head toward Friday and Saturday. Low temperatures tonight, upper 20s here with some low to mid 20s over the northern part of the Buckeye State. And then tomorrow afternoon, we're expecting temperatures to max out right around 44 degrees here in the Dayton area and up near 40 in the northern part of Ohio. Notice some 50s showing up on the map, and those should even work a little farther north here uh, later this week as we get to Thursday. Troy Stouter Center time lapse, four hours worth of data here, and you can see the clear skies, beautiful sunset tonight. Uh, just a couple of high thin clouds out there on the western horizon, so dry weather showing up on live Doppler 2 HD. We have high pressure southwest of us ridging up into the Great Lakes, keeping things quiet. Notice the low clouds starting to advance southward in the northern part of the state tonight, and eventually some of those could even reach the northern Miami Valley. And then to the west, some high clouds streaming in from the west, and those will increase across the area tonight. So you can see those clouds marching eastward there and moving back into the area through. Wednesday morning, maybe some breaks in the clouds later in the morning tomorrow and afternoon. Right now, 37 degrees. We have a southwest wind, 13 miles per hour. That's making it feel like 29 degrees tonight with the relative humidity 62 percent and the barometer falling. And our weather checkers tonight, uh, mostly in the 30s, although uh, Fairborn, uh, William Nevis out there at 40 degrees, Jim Robbins in Beaver Creek at 41, Bill Telzero is around 40, and Gary Rust in Camden at 40 degrees also. But some mid 30s up north, Scott B. Secker and Bradford there with that 36 degree reading. There are those low clouds trying to move into the northern part of the region tonight, but the main story for us will be the increase in the high level clouds. There's a very slight chance of a sprinkle or flurry around the area. That'll be mainly tomorrow evening and a better chance over northern Ohio and northern Indiana, maybe over the northern half of our viewing area. But a lot of cloud cover lingering into Thursday, and we're expecting a mostly cloudy day on Thursday. Mostly clear, though, this evening, and then later on tonight after midnight, especially increasing clouds, a low temperature of 28. A little bit of sunshine mixed in with the clouds at times tomorrow, and 44 for the high with a breezy south-southwest wind, 10 to 18 miles per hour. 34 10 o'clock with upper 30s at noon. We'll see those low to mid 40s in the afternoon. And maybe a little more sunshine, as I mentioned there, around uh, late morning, early afternoon with partly cloudy skies. And then your forecast for Thursday down to 33 with a high of 46, mostly cloudy. Rain showers developing Friday, best chance in the afternoon, 47. Some lingering showers Friday night and into Saturday, mid 40s on Saturday. And then there you go, 47 on Sunday. Uh, with partly cloudy skies, slightly cooler Monday, 38, but then back up into the 40s again on Tuesday. So above normal temperatures coming up over the next seven days. And no complaints. I don't think anybody's going to complain <laughs> about that. Although the winter weather lovers want a little white snow, a little snow on the ground around Christmas, mm -hmm. we're going to have to get colder than that. We'll All have right. to wait and see. Thank yeah. you, Brian.